his wrist. How was the off season? It was good. It was really good. Uh, you know, I, I spent the whole off season down in our house in LA, so uh, that was a lot of fun being by the beach and just spending a lot of quality family time with uh, with my wife and two kids. And uh, spent a w week in in Vancouver celebrating uh, our 10 year Mem Cup anniversary and, and seeing some family there. And uh, also spent a little time in Hawaii for a wedding. But you know, all in all, got a lot of. Uh, you know, I guess rest and relaxation and, and preparation uh, uh, down in L.A. getting ready for this season. And it's definitely nice to come back here in Edmonton and, and being days away from uh, getting going and again. What did you work on this summer in terms of training? Anything different? Just, just being athletic, you know, getting healthy and, and just uh, being as, let, as athletic as, as I could be and just getting myself fit uh, for the grind of another season. Uh, I think uh, what this team is going to learn more than anything is that, you know, now we're we're not going to surprise anyone heading into any game. So uh, every team's going to expect our best. So it's just getting ready to bring your best, and that's what I uh, worked on this season. I think uh, seeing a lot of the workouts from the other guys and, and just talking on social media and seeing everyone putting in that work. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's good to see you guys uh, put their stuff up on uh, social media here and there. So. Uh, it's good to see guys uh, on the team uh, all around the world uh, doing their thing, getting ready for the season. I know all the guys here. You know, there's, I think there's a different uh, energy and mindset coming into this season versus last season, and, and guys are excited, and, you know, guys are ready to get things going, and, and there's, uh, you know, more, more of a chip on, on our shoulders to kind of get back to where we left off. So, uh, like I said, it was good to see guys getting ready for that, and... Uh, Hopefully we have a good camp so we uh, get a good start like we did last year. When you look back at the Memorial Cup 10 years ago, what do you remember and how many of those guys were in the NHL? Well, it was, it was funny. Uh, out of the 25 guys uh, invited to, uh, to the event, 22 showed up. So I think that just goes to show uh, how tight of a group and how special of a group we had 10 years ago in Vancouver. And uh, I think, uh, well, uh, Joey Kenward, who's with the Canucks now, was our play-by-play -play guy with the Giants. <laughs> He brought up a stat that I think 14 guys from that team ended up playing at least uh, one NHL game. So I think that's uh, I think that's a pretty cool stat. And just to get the boys back together, uh, you know, first time back together in 10 years was uh, pretty special. And uh, we definitely had a great time uh, reminiscing about that. And uh, the, you know, for a lot of us, you know, that tournament was a big. I know for myself, especially that tournament was a big reason why we were able to have success in our pro careers. So. Uh, that's, I think that's what made it a, a special event. You're wearing a visor today, is it just trying it out? Or? Just trying it out, you know, it's mandatory for everyone today, okay. or uh, in today's game coming in, so uh, it's nothing permanent, just trying it out. Yeah. Tried it before, it I have work. tried it before. Only did you take it one close to the eye? Or? Uh, I, I've broken my nose a couple of times and I've worn it after a broken nose. And, uh, you know, it didn't, didn't bother me too much back then, but just trying her out just because like I said, everyone in the in the league that comes in has has to wear one now. And uh, you know, I look I look if you look at every team around the league, uh, I, I would say I, I don't even know if there's 40 guys now that that go without a visor. So uh, it's just something I'm trying out. You know, it's not what it was when I first came to the league, where if you didn't wear a visor, it meant you know. It was a sense of, uh, I guess, toughness and that you were willing to fight. Where now it does, it's not that. It's just something I think that's maybe, uh, maybe a little smart to try out. The feeling's always been if, you're, if you like fighting and you wear a visor, then you shouldn't be fighting. You're, you're that was the feeling. You're taking advantage because a guy can break his hand on your, on your visor. Exactly. And, that, and the, with the new guys coming in, you know, I have to hit their visor. So <laughs> maybe I could protect myself with a visor a little bit too. You were really good in the power play and five on five, which has always been so good for you. I mean, obviously looking to change that around. Yeah, that was you know that was one of the things looking back at last season where I felt like I really needed to improve on going this year is getting back to having that five on five success where it's been the strongest point in my game always up until last season. So uh, you got to find a way to not be so reliant on the power play to get to get goals and to get points. So just getting back to being a really good, effective five on five player is is a definitely a, a big a big point in my game heading into this year. 
talked to uh, Puliarvi yesterday, and yeah. he had that season where he was half up, half down, and, and Leon was the same this first year. You played, you, you right off the hop, you made the NHL. Do we, if you're a high draft pick, do we just expect that those kids are just going to step in and, if not be 70 point players, at least be regular? Yeah, I mean, I think he learned a lot last year. Uh, obviously, you're not you're not happy with yourself when you start up and then you finish uh, down. But you know, it's all about development. He's still young. I mean, I remember when I was 19 and joined the uh, NHL uh, because I was. Uh, from the CHL, they didn't have the ability to send me down, but I remember my first 40 to 45 games, I only averaged five and a half minutes of playing time a game until a couple left wingers got hurt, and then I finally got my chance, and I was able to step up and, and show that I could play. But, you know, he's, he's definitely, uh, as a 19-year-old now, he's definitely uh, a guy that could step in and, and really provide us with... Uh, some offense, and then and and now that he knows the North American game a little bit better, he could probably feel more comfortable out there and knows what to expect uh, playing in a league like this. So hopefully he was able to regain a little bit of confidence uh, in this summer. And so far in the skates, the last three days he's been looking pretty good. And uh, obviously, again, uh, he's still young. It's still a man's league. Uh, he, he's a man. Yeah, he's good. definitely he's got a man's body. But it's still it's still a man's game, and he's still only 19 years old. And uh, you know we've seen before with teams around the league that have tried to rush players in how it hasn't worked out. So, uh, but then again, like you said, he's definitely got the frame to support him to support him to play through a heavy 82 game schedule. It's an insult about having confidence and uh, playing the game that you can play.